Hi, I'm sorry. This is uh, my video in response to uh, Mad Fisher Kid 33. Uh, some modifications I made to the minnow trap slash crayfish trap, which if you don't make these modifications, they're not very good for crayfish. Um, sorry, I can't show you this live. I sent this a response to uh, Mad Fisher Kid's video nine months ago, and now it is February here in Illinois, where I live. So, <clears throat> I apologize for that, but what I can do is I can show you the modifications I made and why I made them and the effect it had on making the modifications. To start with, I have the same minnow trap. I pur purchased mine at Farmer Fleet. I'm not sure where you purchased yours. Um, and you already discussed the details of what the, the trap looked like and how they connected and everything else. But what I did was I cut out the inner metal ring of mine. Try to get a close up of that. I had a metal ring oops, on the inner part here, which I cut out with tin snips. Now, check your regulations for your area. Um, and here in Illinois, excuse me, get the other piece. Um, our limit is one and a half inches for the inner circle. Another modification I made was I added cable ties to the inside. And again, I'll try to show you this. I don't know how good I'm going to get this. I might have to do this video over several times to get this. Um, the purpose of the cable ties is that it creates a funnel effect of, like, I actually got this from a professional website and I tried to order these um, from this manufacturer, but they were out of stock. So I made do and improvised with my own. Um, the cable ties work great. Actually, I cut them off at 45 degree angles to make them sharp on the ends, which will deter the crayfish from trying to crawl back out. They hit the sharp edges, hopefully, and fall back into the trap. This has worked very well for me. Um, I'll tell you about that here in a little bit. I'll try to show you what I've done with the modification part. Inside, I've strapped cable ties. You can get these at your local hardware store. I tried to make them go into a funnel shape, the same as the inner part of the trap, where the crayfish, they have the larger hole now, one and a half inch, they can come in, but when they try to crawl up to get back out, these points, the points of this cable ties poke them and they, it deters them, and drop, they drop back down. Um, like I said, I found this on another website, it was a professional trap. Um, they actually used cable or uh, wire, I believe, which is great. Um, but the plastic cable ties, I find, I think, are actually even better. And even having them in there, they nest perfectly. Um, another addition I made was, again, due to uh, trial and error, I guess. Um, I use sardines for bait. Okay, I would put them in trap, pull the top off, put them in the trap, connect the trap, and using them in current, I would find sometimes the bait would float away, go out the other end, or crayfish are, believe it or not, big enough to flip these over. And once they do, again, if you're in any current at all, it washes away. So what I did was, it was really odd, I was at my mother-in-law's, and she had a suet bird feeder and it came with a cage. I'm like, they know what? That'd be perfect for what I'm trying to do. So I went to Menards and I found they have suet containers in assorted sizes. Um, so what I did was I bought a couple of them. Put the trap in there, pulled off the top, closed it up, and inside my crayfish trap, reconnected it, threw it out in my favorite spot, and I was quite amazed at the difference of the loss of material. First of all, it's wide enough inside this trap that the crayfish can't tip it over. But even the current, if it does flush it out of here, it still hangs up on the netting part of this. Um, it's excellent addition. And now I want to talk to you a little bit about where I use it. Um, my favorite camping spot last year, I had. Uh, caught 69 crayfish in one trap, one trap overnight. 
And the spot I chose, which was right behind my campsite, which made it really incredibly uh, convenient, um, I have to go back and find more spots, though. I'll explain that to you in a minute here. But I caught 69 crayfish in one night in this one trap. I have several of these traps, by the way. And I placed them several places along this creek that's along my campsite. But the spot that I caught them in was a spot where the current comes down. It actually takes the creek comes down, sorry. And it actually takes a little bit of a bend, but there was a log jam right there. And in that log jam, it did not reach across the whole creek. The far side of the creek, the current still went through perfectly fine. Where this log jam was, you can see a circling or a vortex of water, almost like a mini whirlpool type thing. Which is, the water is slower, and there's not as much current there. The logs are there, and in that spot, the first time I placed that in there, the first time, I got 69 crayfish out of that one spot. I believe it's the slower current and the fact of the wood being there and giving the crayfish a spot to hide also. So, I tried to mimic that and find other spots like that. Unfortunately, the creek is quite long and anyway, I did find some other spots that did quite well, but not <laughs> quite as good as, as I did in that spot on the first time. Actually, I went back there two weeks later and I got 30 out of the same spot again and it just diminished as the year went on. But I believe that spot will replenish itself because if you think about it, you got rushing current, a uh, crayfish gets bumped off this rock by the current stick, or something coming by, uh, just the current itself, it's going to get flushed downstream until it hits a spot like that where there's no, not as much current and it can stop itself on a log, things like that, and they tend to gather up there. So I'm sure next year that spot will produce just as many again. Um, that right there showed me a lot of things, and this year coming up, I plan, I will take out my camera and take you down to the creek and show you exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, I hope I've taught you something, and if not, we both learn from different things. But you definitely need a bigger hole. The crayfish is not going to fit through that little minnow hole they have that comes with this trap. So you need to cut that out, and you'd be surprised. I mean, I cut it right along the rim, then you can just like press it out to the size your state regulations allow. So. With that, I'm going to close and have a good day.